Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Kevin here. So today's video is about, uh, what the hell is this? Okay, <laughs> like, I saw the trailer, I didn't read any reviews yet, and I saw the trailer and I was wondering, the only thing that was running through my head with this going, and I had a discussion with this last night, and I told my friend, like, I really need to make this video before it actually releases. And this is why I'm making it, because one, I think this is gonna flop horribly bad. Horribly bad. Okay, it's, uh... Before, like, you know, without even watching it or whatever, I just I just have this feeling that it's not going to turn out well. If it turns out well, great. If not, well, shit. This is another one of those things that is a failed movie adaptation from a game. And almost those are never successful. So, why I think it's bad is because, uh, well, I'm pretty sure 90% of the male population already knows about World of Warcraft, but the story doesn't play, take place there at World of Warcraft. Like, the content is, like, you know, you have all these different races, but Warcraft, the movie, only takes place at the very origin of the entire series and franchise. Uh, humans and orcs, that's all there is. There's no night elves, there's no, there's no, uh, undead, there's no, uh... Like, you know, demonic overlords or whatever, and all those other things, druids, whatever, taurins, and all those other things. I never really played World of Warcraft. I stopped at Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne, because that's why I played Warcraft, was because of the real-time strategy, not because of the mmorpg genius that it is known for today. Um, where I believe that Warcraft the movie should have started is Warcraft 3, <laughs> Reign of Chaos, or The Frozen Throne, either one. Those had very, very... Epident like epic stories and many many multiple arcs each campaign itself had its own like unique arc that fit with the other uh campaigns um like you could even split warcraft 3 the movie into three separate movies and then you could do backstory as warcraft 1 and 2 as origin stories as how like some things came together so first movie would be like warcraft 3 right okay and then you do the human you do the human race first and then with the backstory of the orcs and you introduce the orcs in in that same time frame and then somewhere like towards the end you could do like a sequel spoiler or teaser or whatever towards like you know night elves and the and the undead you know this it was it was a great story and the fact that the game had heroes in warcraft 3 that you have main characters to develop on they had a lot of story it's like you know arthas is a shining knight guy or whatever that that basically got corrupted and uh, f fed into the power of Frostmourne and, and completely uh, became obsessed with power and then became the Lich King or whatever. And then, you know, turning Sylvanas into the first Banshee. There's also like Elod and Stormrage totally bathing himself in like demonic power and going nuts. The blind guy is like, you know, he was like the most powerful dude that like wrecked shit up as that's Elodin. He was just like crazy. And then finally you've got like the orcs as well. They had their own, they had like a pact or something. I don't quite remember the story fully. So if I'm wrong here, I'm sorry. And that is more like, this is like over five, seven years ago. Okay. I'm recalling it from memory. No, I didn't. So like, you know, there's Grom Hellscream and Thrall. Those guys were like bros. And then Thrall was like, why are you becoming a bloodlusted orc? We did, we threw away this kind of past. And then like, you know, they went nuts. There was a lot of character development. Warcraft 1, you try to tell the story, it's it's a fleeting memory. I, I don't know who okayed this, it's just like, I wish they did not start with the origin story. It's gonna flop so hard that there won't be any sequels. Or that's what it feels like anyway. So I mean, like I said, if it does great, good. <laughs> but I, I, I don't understand why they didn't start with the Warcraft 3 material. There was a great amount of story a lot of character arcs that could be split into three different movies probably even and it had a lot to do and a lot to work with a lot of material a lot of story a lot of character development uh arthas's betrayal uh arthas's um the killing of uther <laughs> there's all these other things and then you know frostborn hungers there's uh tyranda who who is like Elodin, who Elodin fights for, even though he's like a little fucked up, going for like mad power lust or whatever, just to protect Tyranda or whatever. And then there's Furion. Furion, I don't quite remember. There was like the Tree of Life or something, and then the undead were like trying to take it over. There's Kel'Thuzad, the, the resurrection of Kel'Thuzad the Lich, uh, who brought Arthas into becoming the Lich King. Then there's the... Uh, there's there's just so many stories. It's just oh, it's like, I don't even quite remember. There was like Maiev... Maiev is chasing Elodin because Elodin is doing, like, forbidden shit to gain power. So, you know, that's why they have all these, like, quotes and things with between those characters and the heroes. 
And then you've got Blade Master Yurnoro. <laughs> Are you a hero? No baby. It's like, I slice a tomato. <laughs> it's, it's like, damn. And there's so many stuff. And then there's like the Torn Chieftain. They know like resurrection techniques and stuff. That'd be really cool to see on a live action screen. On a live action screen or a big blockbuster theater or whatever. But they decided to go with Warcraft 1. The origin stories of orcs versus humans. So basically... I saw the trailer and the gist of it was basically um, it's just going to be a bloodbath and a massacre. Sure, that sounds great, but at the same time, it's just like, well, I could have just watched 300. And it'd probably be a lot better. Spartans and massive bloodbath, but it's but that makes sense. Whereas like Warcraft, it's, I don't know, a lot of people, I don't think, the, a lot of fanboys will go, fanboys and fangirls will go watch it just because of tribute. But at the same time, I don't think you'll enjoy it that much because the story is kind of like... There wasn't very much story in games back in that time. So that's why I don't know what they're doing or why they're doing this. And I just wanted to say this before <laughs> before the movie's released because I honestly think that if they started with Warcraft 3 stories and used 1 and 2 as a backside story, it'd be so much better. Um, even Warcraft 2 had Undead, but the Undead was like affiliated with the Orcs. And then in Warcraft 3, they all split into their own race. So Undead has their own faction, and then Night Elves had their own faction. Then there was the actual Elves, and then there's also like the Blood Mages. There's also the Human Race, and then there's like all these crazy things that just that just spun like a lot of stories. It was very good. I remember the stories are very, very memorable in the fact that like how each character progressed, each of the main characters that progressed in the in each respective story of their race was really, really entrenched. And it also bled over into World of Warcraft. But I mean, if they made the movies, they could easily split Warcraft 3 into three or four different movies because each of those main characters has a lot of material to work with. So, you know, that's just my thoughts. I'm actually really terrified that uh, I've pretty sure warcraft the movie is not going to do very well like i i really don't know like it, it doesn't seem like a good idea i saw the trailers and i was like what's special about this there's nothing special about this it's just a bunch of like green dudes trying to kill humans and then the green dudes are trying to up get approval that they're they're sentient live sort of human beings like the humans too or whatever or something like that i don't know i don't know dudes it, it's just I have this feeling that after you watch the movie, three months go by, you'll have nothing to recall about and talk about that is interesting or memorable. You could watch a movie with a lot of splash effects and a lot of crazy stylistic effects, but if there's no memorable moments, that's all you remember is just flashes and particles. You, you won't really remember anything else unless the story was really, really good. But that's my thoughts for this. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.